Welcome back guys. Today in this tutorial, I will show you guys how easily you can create a Facebook post using Design Hill Studio. If you are new to Design Hill Studio, Design Hill Studio provides online tools to create graphic designs, social media post designs, interface designs, flyer designs, name cards, or print designs, all the designs you can think of. Best part is you don't have to be a graphic designer to use this tool. There are thousands of templates available in here. All you need to do is select the correct template for your design and just drag and drop the elements, edit or add content. And all of these you can do it for free. And previously I have done a tutorial for Instagram. You guys can check it out in here. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to create a Facebook post using the Design Hill Studio. All right, so to access Design Hill Studio, go to designhill.com slash studio, which will bring you to the Design Hill Studio website in here. You can straight away click on that try for free button in here, or if you already have an account or you want to join and sign up, you can use these tools in here. I already have an account, so I'm going to sign up using my account credential. Once you log in, you will see this page in here on the screen. This is the main dashboard. To access the studio, go in here to the studio and click on the dashboard, which will bring you to this page. And in here, you can see all the available templates for different type of posts. There are so many posts you can see in here. Instagram posts, uh, poster design, YouTube thumbnail, flyers, and so many more newsletters. And also, once you have logged in, uh, if you have previous design, you can see them below. For an example, my previous uh, burger Instagram post, which you can find it in below. So whatever designs you have creating inside this studio, you can save it for future use as well. For this tutorial, we are going to design a Facebook post. So I'm going to the next uh, sliding area. Here you can see the Facebook post in here. There are so many others. You can keep on sliding. In my previous uh, tutorial, I show you guys how many options you have in here. You can have a look on the previous tutorial from, the, from this link. And for this tutorial, let's uh, select the Facebook post, which will bring you to the Facebook post design area. Straight away in the template section, you can see there are so many templates available for your post. And uh, let's select one of these templates for our first design. I will show you guys how to modify this design. And maybe let's select this one, work from home. And once you select this uh, image, it will appear on your artboard area. In here, you can change and modify and add things to your artwork, all right? So once you select this one, let's say you want to change this color in here, just select this uh, vector elements. Everything in here is a vector elements. And you can go in here and simply select the color from here, or you can use the color picker on top as well. Same for this character also, just select the character. You can see all the colors in the characters in here. There are four colors. And let's say you want to change the head color, just select the color orange and change it to whatever color you like. Not only vector elements, you can add in stock images as well. Let's say you want to change this uh, vector artwork to a real picture. You can go in, in here, photos, and you can search for photos. You can see there are so many pictures already available. These are just trending images. You can go to the search area. You can search like home or for the, in this case, I think I'm going to search uh, work from home. And you can see all the available images. There are thousands of images you can find. So I'm going to choose one of these images for this example. Maybe this one in here. Once you click on the image, it will appear on your artboard. Then you can bring it to wherever you want and place it here. And you can adjust the size by moving these uh, anchor points. And maybe let's place it in here. And you can bring up and down by layers, same as any other design software controls. You can use control and backspace to bring it down. And you can adjust them uh, according to your preference. 
Okay, so I'm just going to place this image like this in here and I'm going to maybe change the background color to go with the image, maybe same uh, tone or similar to this color. So it will look like a wall. And you guys can modify whatever the way you guys want. So for this example, I'm just going to place this one in here maybe. And also you can adjust the alignment by using this align tool. You can press once, it will go to center and press one more time, which will be a right alignment. And you can also adjust the text box size, which will automatically adjust the text, same as uh, paragraph text in other graphic applications and you can play around with your artwork. You can completely change the look and place. Maybe I will place this one in here and I will bring this one to the top. This is going to be the highlight of this uh, post. So I will place this one in here and maybe this one to the bottom like this. Maybe let's swap this one. And for this one, let's place it in here. So the large text, if you want to change the color, go in here and select the color for the text. You can select any color you want. I'm going to select white. Yeah, this look good. And one last thing, let's bring the size bigger for this font. Select the font, go in here and maybe 32. Yeah, this look fine. And yeah, this look fine for me for this example. All right, you guys can create your own text if you want. So I'm going to stick to these text. And first thing, I'm going to save this artwork. So go in here and you can give a name. So I'm just going to give a name. And once you give a name, you can go in here and save. Okay, which will save this in your dashboard. Uh, and once you save this artwork, let's say you want to download for post in Facebook, just go in here and select a download and you will see a couple of options and in here you have png jpg and pdf so this example i'm going to choose png and in the scale you can make it one one x which is the xx size 1.5 2x which will increase the resolution of your artwork so i'm going to make it 2x and download once you select download, it will prepare, it will take some time and your file has been downloaded. You can view the file and see, yeah, which look fine. And yeah, our first artwork is done. So it's that simple, guys. So you just click a couple of pictures, choose your picture, make your text. You can modify your text, whatever you want also, and your post is ready. All right, so let's see another example, a similar example. Uh, at this time, I'm going to choose a different uh, template design in here. First, I'm going to rename this one and uh, save it so it will be in our dashboard. Let's say I like this design, I like this post, but I'm not sure about the picture. So I want to replace this picture again. Let's go to the photos and in here, I'm going to search for coffee. And once you search, you can see there are thousands of images appearing for coffee and uh, you can go below but I already like this image but you can go below and see for more images and I think I will stick to my original image you can keep on loading it's, it's keep on coming so let's go up again and I will choose this image all you need to do is select the image which will place the image onto your artboard and again you can use these anchor points to adjust the size of the image. Now you can go back and delete the old image and place this image uh, same as previously. All these images are very high resolution, so you can increase the scale the way you want. And using the crop tool, you can crop out the parts of this image. Uh, so I'm going to use the crop tool and make a crop in here. Select the crop and bring the crop size smaller. And also you can move the image to place the image on the proper place. I think this look better. Once you are done, you can just say, okay, which will crop the image the way you want. Now let's place the image in same as the previous image position. Looks cool, very simple. We can adjust the text as well. And you can see all three of these texts are grouped and we can't individually edit these texts because they are grouped. If you want to edit, 
just go in here and select ungroup which will separate the text now you can edit these text individually let's say you want to change the font different font for this one select this and go to the font which will open up available fonts you can see there are so many fonts in here you can also filter out based on the font uh, type and vintage maybe this one you can select any font you want so i'm just going to select one of these vintage uh, font all right and we can bring down below you, can, you guys can adjust i'm not focusing on the design in here i'm only focusing on the tool guys so you guys can go in and try it out for free this is a free tool so you guys can try out and you can see there is another tool in here which is positioning tool and alignment for an example let's say you want to bring up and down front and backwards you can go into the position tool which will open up this in here and you can bring up or down let's say you want to bring below you can click on this every time you click it will bring one layer behind and also using the alignment tool you can align this image to the top or right or center based on the alignment all right so i'm going to align like this and i'm going to bring the font and adjust them like this in here and maybe let's change the font type of this bottom font face i'm just going to select this one yeah this looks fine and let's place it in here okay cool so i'm also going to align all of these things to the center and just select this one and press once on the center alignment and for this one also you can make it center and you can easily make them center by with the center guide highlights another cool function is you can change the color once you select the color you can see it's showing all these colors available in the document and you can select these colors and apply these colors these are like uh, stock colors or swatches of the document so you can easily switch and change colors based on the available colors of the document so i'm just selecting these colors randomly to go with the artboard i think this looks fine now you can save this one to your dashboard for future use and you can download if you want and i will show you guys two more things as you can see in here there are shapes which you can use these shapes all of them are vector shapes you can use in your artboard and below you can see the icons in the icons almost all the icons you can think of are available uh, the library is getting bigger and bigger let's say you want to show your other social media posts in here or social media links you can use these icons for an example for instagram you can choose the instagram and twitter and facebook and make them smaller and you can just place it in here i'm just uh, placing them here for example and you can just select all of them and make it smaller if you want and below or next to these icons you can have your links as well and using these align tools you can align them to the top or center and you can also distribute them using the distribution icons uh, distribution align tool same as any other graphic designing applications all right so for this example i'm just going to place this icon in here i just want to show you guys about these icons you guys can have links next to each of these icons as well and if you want a custom image or use your own image for your artwork you can use this upload tool and upload your images you can see our previous uploaded images are showing here one last thing i want to show you guys is this text tool you can have headings different type of headings heading one heading two or paragraphs body text or in here below there are so many templates of decorations of text which you can straight away use them in your artwork for an example first i will delete this text and i will go in here and i will choose this merry christmas text so you just select this one which will place the text into your artboard uh, same as previously let's delete these two you guys can see it's a group let's make it smaller first adjust the size and now again we can't edit them because it's a group so we go in here ungroup first and i will delete this text also and for this one i'm going to change change the text 
Yes, good morning. All right. So you can have a very simple design like this. Again, same as other designs, you can change the color of these text, whatever the way you like. All right, guys. So that's all about it for today. And once you are done, you can save this and you can again go in here and download. You can choose a format for download. You can choose PNG or JPG. So I'm just going to select PNG and download, which will download your artwork. And you can see your file has been downloaded. Now you can post this to your Facebook post. You guys can straight away go to this uh, link from the description below. Try it out, guys. It's free and you can create so many different graphic designs. You don't need to be a graphic designer to use this tool. Most of them are uh, just uh, drag and drop and change content. You have thousands of content created by professional designers and it's very easy to use and it's a free tool. All right, guys, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next tutorial.